Furniture for Good Things Utah, provided by the Timber Lodge Collection. We are helping you get your craft room a little more organized here on Good Things Utah this morning. Do you have this at your house? Mine's actually not even this organized. It's in a yeah. drawer. Yeah. <laughs> All these ribbons are kind of jammed in a drawer. Trudy, what about you? Worse than that. They're not even in the same place. Well, and They're then you scattered. You try to find that perfect one and you can't and you're taking them all in and out. Well, we have help for you today. We are memory keepers here. And they were also at the Scrapbook Expo over the weekend. Maybe you saw some of their fun items they have. Christine McKay is here. How are you? I am great. And I'm glad that I'm not the only one because it, it, you know, it seems like it doesn't matter how many times I try to be organized. This is what it ends up looking like. And I spend more time trying to find the ribbon than actually doing the project. Can you guys really And it gets knotted and you can't get them apart. Yes, it's awful. And you know, there are so many cute ribbon dispensers that you can purchase, and some are just really adorable, but usually they run you about $40 or $50. And if you're like me, it still doesn't, it doesn't accommodate all of the mounds and mounds of ribbon that I have accumulated over all the years. So I've just come up with a couple solutions that you can just make right at your house um, as a little crafting project that you can get just right at the scrapbook store. This is easy. This is so easy. If you easy. have a jar, this is you so can do easy. this. Um, the, the first one I was going to show you is this right here. All this is is the paper mache boxes that you can just get at like Robert's Crafts mm -hmm. that come with the lid. And I just um, set the lid aside and I just use the bottom of the box. And then I just um, attach a cute little face plate to the front. And these instructions um, will either be online or they're at kmckdesigns.com. And I actually made a little ribbon label so you can just cut it right out of the instructions. But I, we called it ribbonry to be really French and fancy. <laughs> but you just attach this cute little book plate. And We Are Memory Keepers has a whole set of just book plates and hardware, and that's the one that I use. That goes right on the front. That just goes right on the mm -hmm. front. And then you take just these cute little acrylic boxes, and what you'll do is you'll take the big bite crocodile, and yes, this goes through plastic, metal, wood, Does it, it goes really? through anything. <laughs> now, what you'll do, so you'll just take the big bite and you just put it in there. And I usually pre measure these obviously before, but you just punch it and it goes right through. And sometimes, wow, can you I had no that? idea that, that would awesome? punch right through the plastic. Right through the crack, right, right through the plastic. And one thing, sometimes you might get a little teeny bit hairline of a hairline crack. fracture, mm -hmm. and the eyelet covers up, so oh. you won't even see it. So when you're done, it looks just like this. And then you can put your ribbon inside, and then it pulls just right, th right through. So you have three ribbons in here, and they're all just ready for you to take out. Absolutely. Yeah. And then as a finishing touch, you can do the, uh, paint a little wooden knob and put on the top. And I have to tell you, Roxanne, one of the executive producers here, just gave me the best tip ever. Because when I was painting these, I was using my spray paint, and they were just, you know, the force was making my little knobs like fly all over right, from the right. spray paint. She said, stick a little Q-tip in the bottom, because there's usually a drilled hole. Uh -huh. Stick a Q-tip in the bottom, and just take a sponge brush and twist it around. And then when you're done, just tape the Q-tip to the side of the table and let it dry. So it without setting it down. Is that the coolest yeah, thing rocks, ever? See, that's why I come, tips. is to get crafting <laughs> tips and get yeah. things in Utah. Yeah. So, yeah, so just put your little tips. And if you want to do an alternative project, if you don't want to do the box, you can do big, huge, these are just canning jars that all I've done is taken the top and just punched and set the eyelets through and put it through the top. Did you spray paint the top? I spray painted right, the top. So it yep. has that nice black yep. color on and it. And just do whatever color. That's what's nice. You can customize it for your scrapbook. Then you room. punched right through with our big crocodile punch. Yep. Yep. And then suck the eyelets on there. And then just and put it right it. to the top. And another alternative that you can do is this is our um, recipe box from our Rogged Lines that we are memory keepers. Mm -hmm. But you can also use a shoe box. You can use photo boxes. Kind of the same concept. So now you've taken uh, the ribbon storage that you can buy, you know, on the market. And there's some really cute ones. But like I said, they're about 40 or $50. And you've created one right in your home for you know, the cost of a shoe box and a few eyelets. Well, and it looks pretty. It looks yeah. nice. It looks in, nice. In your crafting room, if you don't scrapbook, I know you have ribbon to do wrapping, you know? Christmas yeah. the holidays ribbon coming up. The so best. you can have that all organized so you know where it is, where to find it. If you need more information, go to our website, everybody, abc4.com, then click on Good Things You Tell. You can craft along with us. Um, also, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. We where are, can people get your products? Um, at, at, any cra at any scrapbook store, or you can also get it at weareonthenet.com. We'll link you from our website. Make it easy for you. Thank you so much, Christine. Thank what a great you. idea. All right, up next, everybody, this is the perfect time to talk about this. Helping you with your finances. It's our real deal today. We'll be right back.